Hello, I am Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we will be deploying and WCF service, ASP.NET WCF service uh, to Azure Web App. So as you all know, Azure Web Apps help us to build and host web applications uh, without managing the infrastructure. It helps in auto scaling and uh, supports both Windows and Linux and also uh, offers or enables and deployment and automated deployment through different repositories. So let's uh, quickly go to uh, Visual Studio 2017 and create a new WCF service. Uh, can go to website web okay, WCF service. Let's give this as um, my WCF. Let's click on OK. So it will create an uh, basic WCF uh, template with one service, which has these two methods. Say like get data and get data using data contract. Let's uh, run it once. It it would be working, no doubt, but just for the demo purpose. Let's uh, click on OK. This is the WCF test client wherein we can test uh, the services. Let's click on 3 and invoke. OK. So you entered 3. Fine. So it is working now it's time okay okay we'll also run it in this way so you can see the service running fine the wsdl and all so now we need to deploy this in uh, on azure web app so for this right click on this project and click on publish there it is boom Sorry. Let's select Microsoft Azure Web App. So uh, you had to, as a part of prerequisite, you need to have the Microsoft Azure subscription, and you need to log in with that particular account. So it will fetch your subscription, as you can see. Uh, you, it will be resource group. Okay, so you can click over here to create a new resource group. So this is this will be your app name. So let's give it as my WCF on Azure Web App. This should be a unique name as it would be your app uh, apps web app name. So this name should be unique. Uh, it will it has already fetched your subscription. You can create a new resource group or you can select from the existing one from here. Let's create a new resource group. Uh, WCF service. Okay. So this will create a new resource group. Uh, I have already have an app service plan which uh, wherein I have selected this free uh, tier or you can say a free, uh, free plan. So I will select the same. You can create a new app plan from here. So once you have added this, just click on this services. Okay, not required as of now. So let's click on create. So this will take fewer minutes to get deployed. But then very simpler and easiest way to deploy your ASP.NET WCF services to Azure Web App. So it has sum up the summary sort of thing. Okay, click on publish. So the publishing is started, deployment is started. 
so the quick deployment was uh, very quick you can say uh, this is the URL our web app URL let's go to okay so it was service let us see, see. cool so your WCF service your first ASP.NET WCF service is on Azure live on Azure you can use this uh, WSDL URS, URL as your service reference into your project and uh, so we can also uh, check this URL over here uh, let's open up the WCF test client and add this add the URL over here you can do this from here file add service so it will generate the all the methods with all the service methods just click on get data enter some value as and click on invoke okay great so this is coming on uh, coming in from uh, our cloud our azure web app or uh, wcf service so for now let's go to the portal and let's see the service being created over here this this is our service you can um, it's a plain uh, azure web app with all the features associated with it you can uh, add a deployment option for this through github or vsts or bitbucket you can over from here from this deployment option you can see the overview of the created web app or from over here you can see the uh, the data request or data coming in coming out over this section so basically uh, it's very simple it's very easy to deploy your asp.net wcf service for uh, using visual studio to azure web app so hope you have enjoyed this video you have learned something new uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video and do look out for my other videos also thank you happy azure coding bye bye